Monsters at Work is the brand new Pixar TV show spinoff, which is actually now a direct in timeline sequel, basically to the original Monsters Inc. Once again, Billy Crystal and John Goodman are back as Mike and Sully. Also, Ben Feldman is added to the cast, Henry Winkler, Lucas Neff, Mindy Kaling, and also back from the other films, Jennifer Tilly, Bob Peterson, Bonnie Hunt, uh, a lot more, Alfred Molina, all these other people are back. This TV show is, is the main character is Tyler, voiced by Ben Feldman, who originally before the events of the first film was hired right at the really the ending of the first film was hired to be a scare at Monsters Incorporated. But then he shows up after the events of the first film and realizes that now it's all about laughter now. It's not really about scaring. So it's all about, it takes six months after the first film and he wants to be a scare, but learns that he has to be basically a comedic act. So he goes to Monsters Incorporated and has to learn from the best to become one of the funniest people to, to be on the scare floor. Um, the, the episodes, there's 10 episodes in the show. Two have already been released and they are 25 minutes long. My name is Master Emboto, a brand new TV show review, guys. Back here on Max Talk. Today we're talking Monsters at Work with the first big time Pixar TV show to come out. Um, and it's on Disney Plus. So please, before we start with this video, please like the video, guys. Also, please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews like these, movie rankings, and a box office breakdown show. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Also, comment down below your thoughts. First of all, if you've seen the first two episodes already, please let me know your thoughts on these episodes, non spoiler fashion, in the comment section down below. Also, if you have not, tell me, do you like Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University? And will you check this one out on Disney Plus? Or are you going to wait for all 10 to release and just binge it? Um, and let's get started with my review. So as you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, I really do adore Pixar. It's my favorite movie studio. I love, mo I, I really like good 14, 15 films in the entire filmography of Pixar. And I was really excited for Monsters at Work because it does, it basically is a direct sequel to Monsters, Inc., which is for me, top tier Pixar. It's in my top, I think five or, or seven range. I love Monsters, Inc. I have a lot of nostalgia for Monsters, Inc. I do have a bit of fun with Monsters University more than most people. For me, it's not top tier Pixar whatsoever. It's outside, maybe even my top 15. Um, so I still really, I still had a lot of fun with Monsters U University because I like the whole college stuff and I like seeing, again, Mike and Sully are just fun characters to watch on screen. Um, yeah, Monsters, Inc. is my number five Pixar movie and Monsters University is my number 17 Pixar movie. So that's kind of where I have those films. So again, I was very excited to see a TV series about a direct sequel. And the idea, if you remember back at the end of Monsters, Inc., spoiler alert for that, they learn that they're not going to be a scare. They're, the monsters are not, their purpose is not to scare anymore. It's all about laughter. That's kind of the, the positive spin they had at the end of the first one, which is really a brilliant idea. And it looks so excited that this is finally a direct sequel. It's not a prequel. What happens after the Monsters, Inc. movie, which I think everyone's been wanting for. So let's start with my positives. Uh, so also, these are, I am just reviewing here so far the first two episodes in non-spoiler fashion. So don't worry if you have not seen these episodes yet, you won't be spoiled. Um, I'm just gonna do a non-spoiler review of my thoughts so far of the first two episodes of the show. And then when the show finishes up, I will come back and do a full review, maybe even a spoiler review for the full 10 episode series. But I wanna give my original thoughts so you guys can know if you wanna check it out or not. Um, for me, the actual premise of the show is really brilliant. I actually do like a lot this new character, um, Tyler, voiced by Ben Feldman. Now, a lot of people might be disappointed with the show off the bat. I'm just going to warn you what to expect as well, is that Mike and Sully are not the main characters whatsoever of the show. They are in the show periodically um, for bits and pieces, but they are clearly not the main characters of the show. Of course, they have to be all over the promotion because they're the characters that got everyone invested in this franchise, but they are not the main character. Now they are in the every episode so far and they're in the episodes periodically as some fun little bits. And I say they're the best part of the show, but this new character in the premise of Tyler who was got sent an email after the events of the first film, but it was sent before the events of the first. So it's a little confusing like that. But Ben Feldman was hired to be a scare. Tyler was hired to be a scare, this creature right here. Um, Tyler was hired to be a scare. He grew up his whole life, went to Monsters University, was a, broke actually 
Sully's records at, at Monsters University of the scaring. So he's a pretty big time scare, but then has to really switch on the dime and have to learn um, to be a comedic act. But he also gets sent to this place called Mift, which is um, like the cleanup group for Monsters Inc. And while he's trying to learn how to be a comedic act, he, he joins, um, he has to join this group for the, for the series because he has to keep, he has to multitask. And I really did like the idea of that during the show. And Tyler for me was a really, really interesting character and really quite relatable character. He grew up his whole life wanting this one thing and it didn't happen. He has to switch on the dime on how to adjust to the new Monsters Inc., which is now run by Sully and Mike. So we meet Henry Winkler's character, Fritz. We meet Mindy Kaling's character. We meet all these different types of characters. Um, and the show for me is just enjoyable to watch. I like, again, I love seeing Mike and Sully on screen. Whenever they're on screen, boy, does the show pop. Again, if you're also a diehard Monsters, Inc. fan, Monster University, the franchise, Pixar, there are so many Easter eggs and callbacks to not just Monsters, Inc., but also they do call back a lot to Monsters University. There are characters from both of those films. Celia, joined by Jennifer Tilly, is back from the first one, Alfred Molina's professor character. He's back from Monsters University. Uh, I said Bonnie Hunt, she's back as Mrs. Flint from the first one. So, there's all these different type of characters and references to the two previous films in the in the show. So if you do like that a lot, the show is he again they they know what franchise they're in. They're referencing all the different events of the past two films, and it does feel like a a, a fluent sequel to the first one. But again, I did like Bet, uh, Tyler as the main character. It was a bit disappointing not seeing Bet, um, Sully and Mike on the screen that much. But when they're on screen, as I said, the show really pops. Mike has a really fun bit in episode two with an energy drink that I thought was hilarious. Um, and the idea of Mike and Sully running Monsters Inc. is also a really fun idea. I can't wait to see what they do with that storyline. Um, but as I said, it's an easygoing show. It's easy to watch. It's 25 minutes long. So it doesn't really waste your time at all. It's very quick to the point. What I liked about it also a lot that I don't think a lot of people are gonna talk about is that it really does keep the animation from the first Monsters, Inc. And some people are not gonna like that, maybe because people think it hasn't held up. Some people think like me, I really like that they pretty much kept to the same animation from the first one. I know that came out in like 2004, but for me, it brings a lot of nostalgia out of me. Now, yes, at times the animation, like there was like two or three times like, oof, this animation doesn't really look that good. But when, especially when Mike and Sully on screen, I have a lot of nostalgia. Again, I grew up with Pixar. I, I was like three or four years old when the first one came out. So I grew up watching Monsters, Inc. a lot. I watched Monsters University a couple times. So I'm very nostalgic for these characters and the first film. So I felt very nostalgic watching the show being back at Monsters Incorporated for, for the entire show. They basically never leave Monsters Incorporated. So they really don't for the entire two episodes so far. Um, but I do want to talk about some negatives with the show is that the whole miffed storyline of where Tyler's character has to work at Monsters Incorporated, the characters that work for miffed are really annoying. And I was a bit disappointed with that because Tyler is such a upbeat, positive character and you really want to follow his life. But you get introduced to those four characters to my left and they're really quite annoying. And they don't, and they make, and they miss on a lot of jokes. And that is including Henry Winkler, Mindy Kaling, the other actors who do these characters, especially Mindy Kaling's character, I think is intended to be annoying, but it was just quite annoying seeing these characters on screen because when Tyler has these interactions with Mike and, and Sully, they're really great. And that's the movie or the show you really want to see that you're getting also tilted towards this myth storyline. And for me, there's just too many things to juggle as well as the show at times, they wanna stick on Tyler, but they also wanna do this whole myth storyline. They also wanna focus on Sully and Mike. Um, and they also wanna do a bit of world building on what's kind of happened six months after the original film. So at times it doesn't know when to just focus on one storyline. It's trying to balance like three or four at the same time, which I wasn't a huge fan of. And as I said, Sully and Mike being kind of bits and pieces in the show was a bit of a disappointment. I know, I get that Tyler's the main character and I'm cool with that, but I think they need to be in the show a lot more because they're, this is why people are watching the show. Now, obviously 
they're going to get introduced to Tyler, but the, the, the two characters, Sully and Mike, are the reason why they're getting introduced to the show. So again, it's not great, guys. I was actually quite disappointed. It's very much for kids, way more for kids than Monsters, Inc. and University. I think both of those movies for sure work on both a kid's level and an adult level. I would, I would say that's also an issue with the show is that this is very much heavily towards kids. Um, so if you're a parent, I think it would be interesting if you've seen the first two films. Again, if you like, if you love the first two films, or even just love the first one, I would highly recommend checking out the show. If you don't really like the first two films at all, I would probably not want to watch Monsters at Work. It's very much similar to those other two films. So overall, guys, I'm not going to give a score. I'm just going to say it's a good show. It isn't a great show. It's not deep at all. And I'm kind of worried about how much deeper they can even get for the rest of the show. Again, there's eight more episodes that will be dropping over the next eight weeks on Disney+. Plus. But overall, I'm having a fun enough time with Monsters at Work. So that's my review of Monsters at Work, the first two episodes in non-spoiler fashion. If you've seen it, comment down below. Do you agree with me? Did we have seen a lot of mixed reviews for the first two episodes. Also, really no one's talking about it. So let's start that discussion in the comment section down below. Please like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, guys, probably up next to my head are two Pixar movie reviews I've already done on the channel. Luca, which just came out a couple of weeks ago. I did reviewed Soul at the end of last year. I also did a live stream one hour ranking with my two friends, Ty and Joe, doing my whole Pixar movie ranking. That's also on the top. So if you want my full ranking of all the Pixar movies, it is right over there. I'll see you guys soon. Coming up next on this YouTube channel, a Black Widow movie review.